scientific notation. Scientific notation is a method to write very large or small numbers in an easier shorthand that uses powers of the base number 10. So how to use it? We use it by having the decimal is moved until there's one digit in front of it. And then the corresponding power of 10 is multiplied on. So, let's go through an example to kind of just show this. So we're going to write 123,000 in scientific notation. So our first step is we're going to write out the number and we're going to make sure we have the decimal. We don't always show decimals on whole numbers, but it's very important in doing this. And we have our decimal at the end here. Now our second step is we're going to move the decimal so there's one digit in front of it. So we have our number And our decimal starts here. We're going to move that up. And it's kind of convenient to draw these little lines underneath the numbers to keep track of how many places you move it. So we're going to move our decimal here between the 1 and 2. So we just have one digit in front of it, that being the 1. And we're going to next count the number of places the decimal moved. And that is going to be your exponent. So in our case, if we look at where our decimal started, we moved one place, two places, three places, four places, and five places. So five places total to get to where our decimal ended up. But now we have to figure out if our exponent is going to be positive or negative. And the general way to remember this is if you move the decimal to the left, your exponent is positive. And if you moved it to the right, your exponent is negative. So when we rewrite this, we're just going to have our 1.23, because remember we moved our decimal between the 1 and 2, and we're going to multiply on times 10 to the 5th, because we moved the decimal 5 places. So that is going to be how you write 123,000 in scientific notation. Let's do another example where we're moving our decimal the opposite direction. So we're going to write 0 0.000678 in scientific notation. Now to follow the same steps. So first we're going to rewrite it with our decimal. Next we're going to count the number of places we move it. So we're going to move it once, twice, three times, and four times. And we move that to the right. So we end up with a number of 6.78 times 10 to the 4th 
and we look at it and we said to the right, so that's going to be negative 4. So we moved our four places, that's where we get the four. We moved to the right, that's why it's negative. You can also tell the negatives from the positives because if the number gets larger with scientific notation, so it went from a decimal to a whole number, or a you know, um, number where it's in front of the decimal, we're going to have a negative exponent. It's getting larger. Uh, vice versa, if we go from a very large number and we bring that down, like in our last example, that's going to be positive. So lastly, let's go in the opposite direction, writing out a number that's in scientific notation as a fully expanded number. So we have 3.2 times 10 to the 7th, and we're just going to essentially do our um, process in reverse. So we're going to write out our 3.2 and we're just going to remember our 10 to the 7th right now. And next we would be counting out the number of places we moved, but now we're just going to write them out because we know it moved 7 places. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we know our new decimal place is going to be right here. So we can go ahead and write that in. And then we just add zeros. Now it's important to remember you're not adding seven zeros because that two counts as one of those places. You just add as many zeros to get to your decimal. So now we can rewrite this just to make it a little neater and we'll get three, two, zero, 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 zero. We're 32 million here. So this is how you can use scientific notation to help write numbers a little bit easier.